I, I was very down. I, I, I was at a, I was very low. I knew I needed help. I knew I was in crisis. They find themselves lost in the system in a repetitive cycle where they're um, seeking services or going to the hospital every time they're experiencing crisis. There's another way of doing this apart from being in an emergency room. This model is unique. It's different. This is cutting edge. This is the beginning of something very new. It's a very different premise. It's right, really giving control to the individual to be able to kind of make the decisions that they need to make in order to keep themselves well. We look at what they want to work on, what they want to do, and where they want to go, and how can we make this possible. It's a user-friendly process. The whole family unit is part of this process, and family in a non-traditional way, meaning whoever's closest to you. We recognize everyone's story is unique. Everyone is the expert in their own journey, and so we are trying to assist folks in lighting their own path. Our staff is predominantly peers that are working and providing services to individuals who are, in essence, the same. I'm not there to just shoot questions at them. So I'm just there to be like I'm their friend. So they can see that, hey, I'm not, I'm not a doctor or a social worker. I'm just there, regular pair. I know what you're going through. I've been in that situation. We start to build a relationship where you share with me and I share with you. And then once we've connected and once we've built some trust, we can both learn new ways of looking at what's happening, new ways of thinking about what's happening, and then new ways of doing. What can we do about this? What do you want? Where do you want to go? What do you want to be? And we can do that with our model of care. People need to know that there's a place where they can go to take time out for themselves. You, you kind of come in and you're like, you look, you look, and you go, oh, you know, you kind of look, it's like a, a breathe a sigh of relief. The respite is a home. That's exactly what it is. And who doesn't feel comfortable being home? We have a whole house full of staff here who have either directly or indirectly been through whatever it is you're going through. There are a wide variety of reasons that people come to Parachute. Sometimes people are hearing voices that are really bothering them. Sometimes somebody's family member is really worried about them. The range of reasons that people come in are really wide. A lot of the guests that come here have experienced depression, have experienced loneliness, and I've experienced those things. And, I, and I've gotten through those feelings. So when I expose to them, my, my personal experience in that, they, they can identify. I recognized myself in the other people who were here. It was a different approach. I wasn't someone to be concerned about. I was looked at as a human being. Everyone that comes here, we're encouraging them to continue with your life. If you were in school and you just were having a difficult time, get up in the morning and go catch that class. If you have to go to work, then go to work. We'll be here when you get back. Knowing that they can be here and they're gonna be with someone with staff 24 seven, I feel like that's a layer of support and comfort for the provider as well. You didn't feel like you had to be a certain way at any point of the stay. Always encouraged to be yourself. Always to just be you. We're kind of, you know, a mental health clinic on wheels. We go to the uh, individual's home and provide those services uh, in the home. We come to your house, this is in-home treatment for up to a year, um, and we get to come as much as you would like us to be there, um, once a week, twice a week. And that would be a joint collaborative process between your, yourself, our treatment team, and your family and friends. If we give them treatment in their home, they feel more comfortable, everything comes to them, they're more open to talking about what's going on and getting better. I'm on the support line, which is for people who are experiencing crisis and we need to talk to someone. 
that's manned by peer counselors. So the people calling in are able to talk to someone who might have experienced something similar to them and are able to talk to them in a deeper way than usual. You're allowing individuals the opportunity to have their own voice, for them to speak freely. I've seen isolation become communication. People learn new things about themselves. They're given an opportunity to find a way to feel better with the support of others, but largely also on their own. Seeing people come into the respite center one way and leaving the respite center another way, maybe closer to their friends and family, maybe feeling more hopeful, maybe feeling like, I can do this, that's really powerful. Without the option of the respite, I might have just stayed in the house and uh, gotten worse. I just... I'm very lucky that parachute came my way. Really, I feel like really saved my life, honestly.